The Peter Like Show. Bum, 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 bum. All right, happy Monday night. Today actually didn't turn out that badly. I, you know, I've been having a lot of misfortunes in my life here, in the, especially in my social life here in the Phoenix area. To give you an idea of how badly I've been having with social life here, I'm recording this at the end of July. I work at a community college. We're getting ready to um, think about our, well, uh, our uh, fall schedule, and I was uh, given some contracts at the Maricopa College system and also at Central Arizona College, which is south of here. And I hesitated on signing both of those contracts, not because of work, not because of job issues, not because of toxic workplaces like I had in the past, but because my social life here in Phoenix sucks. And I signed both of those contracts with a very heavy heart because I haven't been able to go on a date here in the Phoenix area. I, I've gotten rejected by multiple groups, right? Um, and um, sometimes so I go to a meetup group and it's almost like people don't see me there. It's very hard to break into a group, of, a social group here. I really miss the boat. Uh, during the whole COVID lockdown, it might have been easier to just um, re-emerge from that, right? But I, I missed that boat, unfortunately, and it has sailed, right? And so um, it was a mixed bag. Here in Phoenix, it's one of the first times I've ever had a non-toxic work environment. I'm just starting at Central Arizona College, so I can't really say for sure, but I'm pretty confident about the working culture there, too. And so I didn't want to leave that behind, too. Given a choice between toxic work and a good social environment or the other way around, I think I would rather choose this way around. But I still had a heavy heart signing both of those contracts. So I decided to kind of hedge my bets, right? I, I have a very non-toxic work environment that still gives me a lot of spare time to work on this stuff. And so I decided that maybe over the next couple of months, Maybe I'll hunker down on my social life, focus on my day job and on the art projects um, and um, save up as, as much money as I can while I do that, right? After all, um, I'm not spending a whole lot of money on social activities compared to in other places that I lived, right? And just kind of hunker down a little bit like that. that that's what I was hoping for. Well, today I had a board game meetup, and I had a really good, um, nothing crazy, but uh, had a good conversation with a girl that I liked there. I still haven't made that move on her, but I'm not, uh, it, it was good how it turned out today. I had a moment of sadness earlier today, though. I, uh, many, 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 many years ago, as in like more than half of my lifetime ago, I had been good friends with... Uh, somebody online. He and I both learned how to create websites online back in the good old days and uh, he and I were both fans of the show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. He ended up on the show actually. He was uh, 18 years old, had just finished high school. He was on the show. He didn't make it past the fastest fingers questions and we got into an argument over some website design issues and we hadn't talked since then. And uh, earlier today the for some reason, I thought about the game show Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, and I went down the rabbit hole of um, finding out what he was doing. I googled his name, and I found his Facebook profile, and he's a grandfather now. Uh, the last time I saw him, he, he had just finished high school. It gave me a moment of sadness about how I, it seems like I took an afternoon nap, and a quarter of a century just flew right by, right? And so, um, just a moment of sadness. And then I still don't know my way in life. You know, I, I, I juggled between, over in Seattle, I had a toxic work relationship, but I had a, a few close friends, and now I have the other way around, which I kind of prefer that way, but it's still a lot of work to work on. And so I'm so glad I kind of hedged my bets, though, because uh, it, it, I'm glad I signed those two contracts because it looks like at least I have a couple of good friends here. Alright, continue to pray for me by leaving a like on this video. This is the Peter Like Show! Bum 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 The Peter Like Show! Bum 
bum bum bum bum.